Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Mechanical Engineer. In this video, we are going to conduct fatigue stress analysis on the steering knuckle. In ANSYS workbench, in the left side we can find static structural. You can drag and drop it here. I am going to use the material as cast iron. So initially, I am going to edit the engineering data. In the engineering data, the predefined material is structural steel. So to import cast iron, you can click engineering data sources. In that, you can click general materials. Search for uh, cast iron. You can click the plus symbol. Now, enable the engineering data sources. You can find gray cast iron. We are going to conduct the fatigue stress analysis. So, we need to define the SN curve for uh, cast iron. If you are using structural steel, the SN curve is already defined. You can see that the SN curve is already defined. When you are analyzing using cast iron, you have to define the SN curve manually. So I am clicking the SN curve. Drop it here. So click the tabular. So I am defining the SN curve for cast iron. I'm going to E power 6 cycles. And the stress magnitude is 3 E power 8. 1 e power 7, 2.2 e power 8, 1 e power 8, 2.2 e power 8. Similarly, you can create any number of data. You can visualize the SN curve. Now I am going back to the project. Right click on the geometry. Choose import geometry, choose browse. The geometry file link I have given in the description, you can download it. Import the steering knuckle IGS file. Next, right click on the model, choose edit. Now the geometry is imported. First, let us assign the material. You can choose material assignment and select grey cast iron. Next, right click on the mesh, choose generate mesh. Now the meshing is done. Next, right click on static structural, choose insert, choose fixed support. So in the steering knuckle, I'm going to fix choose control and select the curved surfaces. So I'm going to fix these six surfaces. So in steering knuckle, the body will be fixed, connected with these six surfaces. Next, I am going to apply the load at the bearing slot. Click apply. Forces we can define by component. And in the Z direction, you can visualize that. In the Z direction, I am going to give 4000 Newton in the upward direction. So I have fixed at these three locations and I have applied a force in the bearing position. Now in the solution, you can right click, insert, choose fatigue tool. In the fatigue tool, you can find that the fatigue strength factor is 1. It is normally 1 for most of the cases. Then the loading type, you can go either way fully reversed are zero based. In fully reversed you can see that the load is completely reversed. I am going to choose zero based. So from zero the load will go in the positive direction. And analysis type I am choosing stress life. Then mean stress theory I am choosing Goodman equation because I have defined the material as cast iron and as it is brittle material I have selected Goodman equation. Now Right click on the fatigue tool, 
go for insert choose life then go to fatigue tool choose safety factor and also select the equivalent alternating stress now right click on the solution choose solve Now the solution is done and click on the life. So the life in cycles and the minimum life in cycles is 1 e power 8. Similarly the safety factor, the minimum safety factor is 4.0331. You can choose the probe. So this is where the minimum factor of safety occurs. Similarly maximum, the maximum value is 15. This is far enough. Similarly, click the equal and alternating stress. So this is the location where uh, the maximum stress occurs. And uh, the maximum value is 3.2 e power 7. This is how we can conduct the fatigue stress analysis on any component. Only thing, if you are introducing a new material, then we need to define the SN curve properly. Thank you.